Yo, we're back. We're here at Punishers. I decided to come film over here on the actual store side since that white corner, eh, kind of ugly. Again, we have an update coming on, you know, studio things and other things in general, but uh, you don't get to know about that just yet. So, in the meantime, we're going to be over here in the shop where you get to see all these lovely other products behind me that we have for you guys. But this video will be about the HK Crash Pads. Now, these are not exactly very new. These have been around actually for a minute, but we realized we've never done a video covering these for some reason. So, uh, yeah, today's the day. I'm going to try these on, uh, kind of let you guys know which size feels best for me, talk about the quality, coverage of the padding, all that good stuff. But if you guys like this video and you want to see more of stuff like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel here. Always drop a like, drop a comment, talk to us about the video, what you thought of everything here, and what you think of the product. And when you're done watching and you want to buy something from here or this specifically, use the link in the description to shop here at Punishers. Thanks. I'm so free. Alright, so let's get on into this here. So I have three sizes with me, I believe. I have XL, I have large, and I have the small medium size here. So I think I'll probably fit the large the best, but I'll try all of them. I'll I'll start over here with the small medium. Um, and as we go about it here, I'll kind of talk about what I think about them and all that. So we have alright, so it's just kind of through here to thread the uh, the straps and whatnot. It's not too bad. So packaging, not really much to talk about with the packaging, it's just enough to hang it. Not exactly protective, but that's okay. I don't really need or want anything super protective for my pads specifically. So this is, does it say which arm this is for? Yep, it has a little tab in here left. All right, cool. Take the Velcro off. Oh no, that, yeah, I'm, for the sake of not destroying a product, I'm not gonna put that on. So, um, <laughs> that does not fit my, my arm from a standpoint of getting it in here. It does at first, and then the further we get, once we get to about here, right before my elbow, that's not gonna work. So, I'll take this time then instead to uh, talk about the quality of things. So, the pad itself, super hard, really hard pad, which that can be good for helping absorb impact while diving. I'm wondering how comfortable that'll be though, it might kinda hurt, and I'm also wondering how many bounces that'll realistically catch, because that's pretty hard. Um, Ditching on everything, I mean, it seems okay. Looks like a single stitch. I, I'd be curious to see how these hold up over time. One of my students at Ohio State has been using these for years and he hasn't had a problem with them, hasn't had complaints, so um, I would say they're definitely holding up well over time. Little bit of hand padding too, which is nice. This probably isn't too much less than what you have on like the Exalt ones. I forget the name of them, but they have like the separate hand piece with padding on them. That's not bad at all. The stitching up front here seems all right. There's some pretty good heavy stitching around the thumb where there's a lot of pull from the pads going this way as you slide and dive. It'll kind of tug backward on your hand like that. So that's good to see. Up here, not the stretchiest. And obviously I have the Velcro on here, but yeah, it's not going to have the most amount of give and stretch. Like once it's to its limit here, that's about all you're going to get. And that's not exactly a lot of pull. Not a lot of Velcro either. So it's kind of a if this doesn't fit you, your SOL, I guess, kind of thing. So I'm gonna set this over here. Now let's try the large on me. And I did grab all the same colorway here, just to sake of quickness. We do have uh, some of the more earth tone kind of camo ones up top as well. I'll show you some of those, but there we go. All right, so once again, is this gonna be a left? Yep, it's a left, all right, cool. So. On Velcro, all that good stuff. All right, yeah, this is going on a little better. It's a little tight in the wrist. Um, all right. So I have it on. Good coverage of the elbow. I can move, obviously, like I can make it work, but I feel kind of restricted in this around like the bicep area um, for how much I can really scoot my arm around. Um, Padding is very good. That doesn't hurt me at all. I can just smack myself on the table. So very padded, very protective. It's got a wide set of padding as well. It's not very narrow, so that's really going to cover a lot of stuff. This pad on the hand is nice, but I feel like I can't... I don't know, like the wrist movement isn't great, which again, it's paintball, so how much are you really doing that? But I'm thinking if I take like a lateral slide and I have to plant my hand down, push myself up to then grab my gun. Yeah. <sighs> 
I, I don't like how restricted I feel up in here because I think the padding is just a little too much right down here at the end. But pr protectiveness, completely there. And this, uh, while this isn't see-through, this little kind of mesh part in between, this feels very light. It doesn't feel very um, encasing to me. It doesn't like It feels like it'll breathe okay, I guess is what I'm trying to get at. I really think it's not bad. Um, it's not uncomfortable by any means. It's just a little tight in the wrist, and I feel like my mobility is kind of weird. Um, take this off and see how the XL feels. I was actually, I'm actually shocked by this. I thought that the large would be fine, and then I would leave saying, oh, the XL would be a little too much. I don't think I'd want that, but I'm starting to think here, actually, XL might be the move for me. So just for size reference, guys, I am 5'8", nearly 5'9", and pushing about 2'10", right now. Um, not the biggest arms really it's kind of average like proportionate size for my body so uh, take that into account if you are my size but lifting way more and uh, really working on arm size and stuff like that or if you're a bigger person these XLs and I, I think I've seen sizes bigger than the XL as well uh, that might end up being more of a move for you but we will take a look here I have been wearing the same R pads for a long time so it's 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 weird to put on some new ones but and also I my wristbands here we're kind of making my life a little hard, so I'm going to take these off for now. Yeah, see, this is way more what I want my arm pad to feel like. So, I have a lot more mobility here. My wrist doesn't feel restricted at all. Obviously, again, the coverage on this is still really good. So, yeah, for me, 5'8", about 210, average arm size, maybe slightly larger because I play drums, but, like, like I'm not a total noodle. Um, I would say the XL actually fits quite well, but the problem is that I can feel a lot of space here in the elbow, a lot of a lot of nothing here, but it's just it fits the lower part of my forearm and my wrist way better and the actual bicep itself. But as you can see, there's a ton of space here, and I can't really get it much tighter because of the lack of options for Velcro. If I have it all the way to the edge there, I still have all the room in the world to just get myself in there as much as I want. So um, definitely if you have bigger arms, there is room to expand into the bicep region here. A ton of room here in the elbow, but it's not really a bad thing. And again, this padding, super thick. Very protective. I'm not hurting myself at all when I smack on this table. Can move. I can maneuver way more easily with the uh, the hand and the wrist here. I feel like I wouldn't have trouble grabbing a gun and getting a good hold on it. So yeah, um, these are actually far better than I thought they would be. These are actually quite nice. I don't know why. I've heard some people say, oh, they're kind of uncomfortable. I think this is completely fine. I think you should just size up one from what you normally think you would wear when it comes to the HK pads. Um, that, that would be my advice to you guys is to just size up a little bit. Um, but yeah, beyond that, these are actually pretty solid. So for 60 bucks, uh, honestly, that, that, is, that is not bad. You have a lot of padding and a lot of protection for all that you're paying for here and very breathable, uh, fits comfortably. Just again, remember size up one from what you normally think you would wear. But yeah, guys, I, I have really no, no issue with these pads at all other than their sizing might be a little... Uh, oriented towards smaller people. So guys, with all that said, thank you very much for watching. We always appreciate you guys taking the time to hang out with us here on the channel. Please subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more kind of gear reviews like this and see some of the vlog footage that we have. Always leave a comment, talk to us, have a conversation, let us know what you think if you're a user of this product. And if you want to pick any of these up, once again, in the description of this video, there's going to be a link directly to these. And from there, you can also go to the rest of the store and pick up anything else you need from Punisher's Paintball. Thanks. I'm so free.